No one can say, all because of an early morning fire that destroyed classrooms, gutted an auditorium, and wiped out a piece of history. Trisha Takasugi is live in East LA and has the latest. Trisha. Well, Jeff, even though there's no official cause of this fire right now, county firefighters and school police still have Garfield High School cordoned off, saying it is a crime scene. And um, that will leave uh, students out of school for tomorrow and possibly even longer. Just after 7.30 Sunday morning, heavy black smoke and flames are seen shooting out of the Garfield High School auditorium. Yeah, I'm sad. I wanted to cry when I, like, I was looking at the fire. Yeah, this is like my school. I love the school. Firefighters moved in quickly, attacking the three alarm blaze from all sides, but they were unable to salvage Garfield's historic auditorium that was built back in 1925. Considered a local landmark, it contained irreplaceable vintage chandeliers, ornate plasterwork on the walls, and handcrafted wooden seats. It's sad to see uh, an old dame of that quality, like the Garfield Auditorium, it, that is now no longer going to be available to the students and the community. It's been used many times as uh, a setting for movies. Come on, a negative two plus two equals. Anybody can do it. Movies such as the 1988 film Stand and Deliver, which depicted the success of Garfield teacher Jaime Escalante and his calculus students. And current day Garfield students are just as proud of their school. It's devastating knowing that it's our senior year and we're leaving the school like half destroyed. We had a lot of good memories in that auditorium and that's it, it's burned down. Besides the auditorium, a main building with several classrooms were also affected by fire, smoke and water damage. And we have a lot of electronic equipment, we have our phone equipment in the main building, we have our computer systems in the main building. Now, to make matters even worse, the 3,500 students currently here at Garfield High School were gearing up for state testing, which was scheduled to begin on Tuesday. No word as of today how the district is going to handle that. Live in East L.A., Trisha Takasugi, Fox 11 News.